Hey, what's going on guys? If you're landing on this video, chances are you are part of the starting a business from home series. And if you're not, make sure you click on over here if you're interested in starting a business from your house or on your cell phone or on the go, create a series of videos to help you. In this one, what we're gonna cover is how to use Gmail. We're gonna cover all of the features on it in terms of sending emails, creating signatures, what does forwarding mean, CC mean, uh, how to integrate it with the Google Drive. So my goal is to show all of this to you guys in less than 15 minutes. So you guys are super knowledgeable and you're ready to start using Gmail for your business or just for your personal self. Google is freaking awesome and we're gonna jump into those details right now. All right, so to get started, you simply go to gmail.com. If you haven't created an account, make sure you create one here. If you already have one, just sign in. All right, so once you sign into your account, your main emails are gonna be located right here. This is where all of the emails from anybody sending you anything to your primary email account is gonna come right into this area. All right, and then this tab over here is the socials tab. So what, what Gmail did is it filtered a lot of the, more of like the social media stuff. So as you can see, I got a lot of stuff. So you can actually unsubscribe to a lot of the things on here, whether it be like um, unsubscribe from this email. And I always do that. So sometimes you gotta do it a few times. So this is where all the social media stuff is gonna go. This is where the promotions go in regards to any promotional newsletters that companies are sending you. It's all gonna go under the promotions tab. All right, so social media, promotions tab, and your primary tab. This is where all your important emails that people send directly to you are gonna go. All right, and to, and before we compose an email, I just wanna talk about really quickly what all of this over here means. Um, I'm blurring it out because there's a lot of important information on this account. So um, what you guys are gonna essentially be seeing is you're gonna have your inbox, start, important, sent mail, drafts. Um, then this is gonna be any accounts that you're actually linked to your Gmail. We'll talk about that in a little in a different video in terms of linking your business emails to your primary Gmail. So for instance, I have one of my emails for my brand linked right to my Gmail, so everything comes in right here. So you're able to access multiple accounts right from Gmail, and we'll cover that in another video if you guys are interested in that. Just make sure to leave a comment about it. Um, then you can also create different uh, tabs and folders here. Um, so for instance, this is all stuff that is filtered. So this is a spam folder. So anything that you deem spam is gonna go right in here. So if you get any uh, newsletter, sometimes they're gonna get in the spam folder. So make sure that you check into that so you can get my emails as well. Make sure you check your spam folder because it might go in there. And then this is the trash. This is anything that you deleted and uh, it deletes every 30 days by default is what it says right here. So those are those things um, in terms of the categories. It also categorizes. It actually expands a lot of it. So a lot of this down here, you don't necessarily need, but if you did want to create a new label, so for instance, you wanted to create, uh, maybe um, you wanted to filter some emails in terms of like adding them to certain labels. So let's just say that uh, design notes and then you can nest it under a certain parent folder or it could be its own folder so you can create that all right so after you create that what's going to happen is it's actually going to put it right in here so whatever emails that you want to filter to design notes it's going to go right into this folder so i'm going to show you guys that um all right so for the purpose of that and then you just go to move to and then when you do that it's going to go to your folder that you created it's a little bit intricate but yeah you click on that and now when you come over here you could filter whatever notes were design related whatever emails were design related are also going to come into here but there are going to they are going to remain also on your main inbox this is just a way for you to be able to filter them a lot easier so if you got a bunch of different emails coming in and you know that you need to review a few of the design notes this is a way to do that and obviously there's a lot of bit there's different ways that you can accomplish that but this is a very easy one to just filter some emails but i don't want to touch on that too much longer i definitely want to show you guys how to actually compose an email i think that's going to be the most important part of this um 
So as I say, you can have multiple email accounts all coming into this. So in this account, I have a variety of them. I have one, two, three, four, five emails into one Gmail account. So uh, you choose whatever email you want to send it from. And what's really cool is that if you have the app, this actually all translates the exact same way. All right. So you could be sending a bunch of different from a bunch of different email addresses all from one login, which is what's very cool about Gmail. So to compose an email, you just send test at test.com. So let's say you were going to send an email out to somebody. You just put their email address right here. Obviously, this is made up, so it's probably not going to send anywhere or it may. So then uh, what this means right here, this is CC and BC. So CC means um, carbon copy. I think it, it was translated from back in the day when people used to make notes and they had those like uh, those carbon papers where it left a receipt. It's pretty much what that means. This means that somebody else is going to get it. You wanted Joe at test.com to see it. So what what uh, what this means in the business world more than anything and more of like the professional setting, this is the person that you want to send it to. And this is somebody that you also want them to know that you sent it to them. All right. So maybe you guys met with somebody. Maybe you met with two people. One person was a point of the point of contact. That's going to be under the two. The CC is going to be you met with Joe and test. So say you met with test and a guy named Joe and test was the point of contact for that meeting, meaning he was he was going to be the person you followed up with. Joe is going to be the guy that's that was in the meeting. So you also want to let him know that you did follow up. All right. And then what BCC means, that means that they're also receiving a copy of this email. But these guys up here aren't going to be able to see it. But this guy right here is going to be able to see whatever you send. So you usually use BCC when you want to like BCC your partners or somebody else unrelated to the in, to the email. So when you're BCC'd in an email, it pretty much means you're not very important in a good way because you don't necessarily have to reply to it. But you're letting them know what's going on. So it'd be like, hey, heads up, I'm sending this email to these people. And it may, and it may be something where you could follow up with that BCC person and say, did you get my email? What should we do? Whatever that is. And then the subject line, this is going to be where you say like following up yesterday's meeting follow up. Or for instance, uh, John Santos meeting follow up. This is going to be what they see in their email inbox, similar to how this thing is right here. Try not to leave this blank. If you just say like, hi, or like something really random, people may or may not open it. There's a lot of emails in their inbox. They're not going to open it because it could be spam or some type of virus. So make sure that you're reminding them about why you're emailing them. Down over here at the bottom, what we have is, um, is the formatting tools. So say you wanted to do like larger text or even bigger text, um, if they're older people, I guess. But for more than anything, you just leave them at regular. You could do different text styles here. Uh, for the most part, you don't really need them. Uh, but if you wanted to say, say you were responding to a few things, like if they asked you a set of questions down here, um, because it was a previous email, then you could respond in a different color by just doing that and you just leave your response and then right up here you could say um, see below answered questions in red. So then that way you know you let them know hey I answered all your questions right here in red and it helps a lot to kind of keep everybody in the same loop instead of having to repeat yourself up here or miscommunicating because uh, they don't know what you said yes or no to down here. And then uh, all this other tools right here are just going to be formatting stuff that you guys can use. So like leaving bullet points. Bullet points is going to be good when you want to list certain things out. Like here's the next steps. You know, so you want to let them know what the next steps are. But just know that right down here, you could do all kinds of good stuff. Um, so what I want to do, what I do want to jump into is attachments and what all this stuff down here means. So attach files, this is straight from your computer. So this is whatever is going to come from your computer. You just hit that and you could literally attach it right to the email. 
and you could attach up to 20 megabytes of information. Once it goes over 20 megabytes, it's going to insert it as a Google Drive. In short, you can connect whatever it is that you're doing right to the email itself. And when you hit insert, as you can see, it's inserting from the Google Drive. So when somebody clicks on this on the other side, they're going to access that one document that you attached. And they could download it, view it, and do whatever they want with it. But you sent it to them, similar to how you did from an attachment here. The major difference being that if you're sending a file over 20 megabytes, say you're sending a video or something, it's going to automatically upload it to your drive and it's going to send it as a link like it is right here. All right, so that's important to keep in mind is that files that are bigger than 20 megabytes automatically convert and people are going to see it like this. All right, and then um, over here you can insert photo, pretty similar to how uh, we just discussed going to pull up whatever photos were on your drive or on your computer and uh, on this and then it's going to insert it right into your email if you don't send it it goes into the drafts meaning that you can get back to it later so this is where it goes if you didn't send the email it's going to stay in your draft folder so sometimes what i like to do is i'll draft up some emails from like the night before or something and then I, I don't necessarily finish them because I need to like attach something to it, but I didn't have access to it at the time. So then you just draft it up and then you just leave it there. And then when it's ready, you go back to it, you upload whatever you need to upload and you send it. So draft is really cool to save stuff. If you're working from your phone to your computer and say you were draft, you were sending out an email from your phone, but you needed to upload something that was probably only on your computer, you can save it as a draft, open it back up and upload whatever you need from your computer and send it out from your phone or your computer. Up here is going to be the Google suite of products, meaning like essentially what this is, this is where everything that you're ever going to need from Google is going to be. So whether you want to start a calendar, your YouTube channel, or the news that they got, everything is up there. So the settings of your Gmail account are going to be important because it's what's going to uh, affect the front end of it. You go to the general, and then you come right to like the middle area. It's going to call a signature. You can have no signature, meaning that it's blank. Or you can have a signature, meaning whatever you type down here is automatically included into whatever emails you're creating from that account. All right, so for instance, I have multiple signatures. This is the one for my company there. And then uh, for my normal one, I have just my name or, you know. So you could do a variety of different signatures all related to your account there. And um, right here, this is the autoresponder and stuff. What's important to note is that if you do have multiple email accounts on here, uh, this vacation responder and stuff is only going to work for the primary email account of this overall Gmail account. So for instance, if I were to do vacation responder on or off, it's only going to tell people I'm on vacation if, I'm, if it's coming into the primary email account not from all these secondary email accounts. Um, you guys will get that once you start using it. Accounts and import, this is where you go to actually import uh, multiple email accounts onto this Gmail account. So you go through the process of doing that right from this tab. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and now you're able to use Gmail with ease. Super frustrating at first, I completely agree, but I hope I answered most of your questions there. And as always, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you're not already a subscriber by clicking down below and hitting that notification bell. If you're in the process of starting your business or starting the journey to business, make sure that you check out this playlist right here where we will continue to add new videos to it in regards to running a business from home. All right, so this is gonna be updated on a weekly basis. So make sure you guys are tuning in and leave your questions in the comment section down below in case you'd like me to answer anything else. If you guys want additional information and resources, make sure you subscribe to the newsletter right below this video right here. I have all kinds of stuff going right to your inbox if you're in the process of starting a business or starting your journey into entrepreneurship. All right, I appreciate everything you guys do and I'll see you on the next one.